Okay, so welcome back. Welcome everybody to today's uh, Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness, um, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. So we have a question regarding the um, how to deal with um, constantly staying in a state of trust. And um, I understand, I mean, this is something that it's not just one person's challenge, it's everybody's challenge. And what happens in life is we continuously get challenged with different situations that you're forced to trust. And it's not really a bad thing because if you're not challenged in your life and, and life becomes complacent, and and there is no it's dif difficult to evolve and and raise your consciousness to a higher levels if you have a very easy soft life all the time and not being challenged then it doesn't force you to dig deep and and try to break your old conditioning to learn how to be present in the moment and to be empty. And the real life is that those of us who are fortunate enough to come to this understanding, because this is something that also needs to happen to you, to come to this understanding, otherwise you would never know about it. So somehow, we all of us been fortunate to get pulled on this path of self-realization to work on ourselves and coming on this path of self-realization there's a lot of ups and downs and there's a lot of different challenges and obstacles that you have to overcome that's the part of the game you know that you have entered into so and a lot of times it may not be very easy, you know, because it's not easy. Because the reason it doesn't seem to be easy is because you have to break your old conditioning. And the old conditioning is the conditioned mind that has happened. The way we've been brought up and they've been, we've been educated and the way we have been uh, brainwashed through schooling, the government, the environment, the society, the media that has shaped our psyche and our minds in the way we are and the way we perceive life, how we look at things. And basically, whenever we suffer from a circumstance, whatever is happening is um because we believe that things should be in a different way that whatever situation i'm in right now should be different and i'm not being treated fairly by existence i'm disadvantaged and life sucks and uh things should be different and so suffering begins because I don't think I'm exactly where I need to be and I should be somewhere else. So that's one part of it. Another part of it is that being in this situation of being challenged. Now, everybody's got their challenges differently according to where they're at in their lives. And um, some of us are, you know, our challenges are our main challenges or areas that forces us to trust life is um, finances. Financially, we may be struggling all the time. And we're being put in this position that you live month to month, hand to mouth, and you are forced all the time to trust existence that somehow everything's going to work out and your bill's going to get paid and 
and uh, whatever financial situation you're in, whether you're a business, business person and you have employees or whether you're on your own and you're just responsible for yourself or your family, whatever situation that you have, that you're constantly getting challenged. Um, so that's for some of us. Some people physically, they're being challenged all the time and going through different kind of health issues. Um, some, you know, their main challenge is relationship, that they're in this vol volatile relationship situation or in a situation maybe you're losing your marriage or you losing your relationship with your partner. Uh, maybe you're about to lose your kids or you lose your business or whatever, you know? Uh, you have this challenge that keeps coming up for you or maybe you have different challenges. You know, it just depends. Depending on everyone, circumstances, different time in your life, you're going through different challenges. So, but they're always, they come up. They're there. And I'm not saying it's, it's for everybody, but um, Basically, when a challenge presents itself in your life and you're forced to look at it and deal with it and it may be bringing a lot of fears and anxieties in you, uh, worriness, and so you're in a situation that you're going to do the best you can to solve it, but and deal with the parts that you feel like you're in control. So you're doing the best you can to preserve it and to, to deal with this issue. But also a lot of it is out of your control, or at least it appears to be. You know, it, it looks like you're in control of some parts of it. And, and the rest of it is very clear. You have no control over and it forces you that you need to go back into your center. You need to go back to your roots. Going back into this place of, in this moment, coming to this moment here. You know, to the roots, to yourself. Always coming to here, in this moment. And disconnecting from your mind disconnecting from the story, disconnecting from whatever emotions are rising in you because it's strong, and you come back into here in this moment. And you come here in this moment and you're really present here, detached from previous moments, detached from future moments, you come back here again and check in and you check in and you realize like, okay, I'm here right now in this moment. And right now in this moment, I'm breathing. You know, I can have, I can have a glass of water. I'm fine. I don't have a gun in my head. No one's going to shoot me. I'm not going to die. Everything's okay right now in this moment. And kind of breathe into it and hang out in this place. So, so by just coming back here and hanging out in this place, a disconnection happens with the story that you're really concerned about. Uh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen to me? You know, what's going to happen to me? So you disconnect from that story and you come back here and you come into this moment and then the trust gets reemphasized. The trust gets reinforced because you're coming back into this moment. You're coming back to the source, to yourself. You're coming back home again. Home is here. You come, you come in and the mind gets quiet and the heart opens 
and you feel the bliss, you feel the love. You get reconnected with the source energy, with your divine self. And then it's like, ah, oh, oh yeah, all is well. Everything, all is well. Everything is fine. You remember again. You reconnect with it. To the very foundation of yourself. Your divine self. Reconnect with it. And in that reconnection, you being reminded that all is well and everything is going to be handled in a divine order. Life knows what life is doing. And you don't need to really panic and worry. Especially when it's completely, it's very apparent that is out of your control. When it's very clear, it's out of your control, and there's nothing you can do by going into this place of panicking and worrying, does it really help? Does it fix things? And things get be fixed. Could they go your way if you panic and worry about it? Would it help? You can examine it. Or it's just a part of your addiction. It's your addiction. Is it your addiction? You're addicted to it, to worry about it. Because Adam is going to make you feel comfortable that you are doing something to help the situation. You know, I'm about to lose, for example, my house, okay? And I'm using some extreme situations. I'm about to lose my house. They're going to kick me out of here because I can't pay my mortgage anymore or my rent, okay? So, and I'm going to freak out. I need to freak out about it because that's what we have been conditioned to observe from other people, from our parents, from our relatives, from people around us most of our lives, to panic about a situation like that. I'm about to lose my home, and I need to panic about it. I need to be really freak out, cry and jump up and down and call around and tell other people that I'm a victim and it's poor me and I'm losing my home and my life's going to come to an end and how horrible life is and how unfortunate I am. So then, you know, maybe some other people say, oh my God, you know, you're right. And so they re-emphasize that part of yourself that needs to be fed by these kind of emotions and gets power and that's going to make you feel like you're doing something. You're just not sitting around, not doing anything. And that kind of makes you feel better in a way because you don't know what else to do. Because if you don't do anything, if you don't panic and go to that place of being hectic, then you're not a good person. You know, you're horrible. You haven't done anything. You're not trying to save your situation because you're just being passive, because you're just being calm, because you're being centered and you're being collected and you're not good. You're not good. You're not a good person. You're not doing anything to help yourself. Which, in fact, the other way around is the way to help yourself. Because now, okay, your house is about to be taken away for whatever reason, because you went into bankruptcy or 
or whatever is the situation, you're unemployed, you can't pay your rent or mortgage, or whatever is the situation, it's going to be taken away. And now, its existence has created an opportunity for you, it's put you in a golden opportunity for you to demonstrate trust, for you to demonstrate to yourself to realize that because existence doesn't care you're not really doing it for existence existence doesn't really care if you're going to demonstrate trust to existence or not there's the whole situation is being created for you to grow and to evolve and to come to your higher self it's it's a setup in your school of life in this dimension that we all signed up for it we came to this school to move to a higher dimension to evolve into the better part of ourselves to come to this part of ourselves that's very present in this moment and is trusting life will take care of me because I'm part of life and I trust existence and everything I need will be provided will come to me maybe not everything I want because not necessarily getting what you want is a good thing it could be very destructive to you and to everyone else but getting what you need is always provided for all of us. So now the school of life is presented another opportunity for us to learn what? To learn that if I am here still in this moment and I recognize who I am, I recognize I'm connected to life. I am a product of life. Life has produced me and life is responsible to take care of me. Then I can let go and trust that life will take care of me in this, in this phase. And then you will see what happens. You will see what happens. And life will take care of you because it already has done that even though it appears to be it looks like you know you have to be aware of this it appears and it looks like you're doing it yourself you're the one who's doing things it looks like it and you're schooling and all the education that we receive and especially uh, uh, in our society today it's just saying like yeah you're you're doing it yourself you have to get it you have to go out there and you have to da 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 but existence is creating it and putting the opportunities and the steps in front of us in a magical way So we're going to use every challenge as an opportunity given to us to demonstrate that we trust life, we trust this moment, we trust the Supreme Soul, the Presence, the Living Spirit will take care of this situation that I have no control over. For the best of all and I just stay in that place I stay here in this moment and then you see what happens you just come back here because the mind wants to go to all kinds of places it's going to be like this, that's going to happen, da, 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 da. I'm going to be miserable, I'm going to be on the street, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that. What would people think about me? 
But all these thoughts that we're going to be dealing with, all these worries of the future that I'm going to be miserable, I'm going to be on the street, I'm going to be homeless, I'm going to, people are going to think of me as a loser. All of these thoughts actually coming from your past. They're all from past, from the past and now being used to be projected on a future that you have no idea what it's going to be like. So it's still kind of living in the past. It has nothing to do with the present moment because present moment is fresh and full of infinite possibilities that anything can happen at any moment in any direction. It can go at any moment. And it's amazing that the more you come to this understanding, the more you dive into this, the more existence shows you miracles. The more miracles happen in your life. But that's a level of consciousness and level of awareness that you have to work yourself into. And the only way you're going to master it is to be in positions of instability and to be in positions that things are not going your way and you're being challenged. So you can demonstrate this to yourself. And as a result of that, you go to the next level. Well, how can you go to the next level and go to the next, take the next step if you're not forced to do it? If you're not, existence doesn't present you with that. There's no need to go. Everything's fine. I get everything I want. Why should I even bother? But then life gets boring. Too complacent. When you're challenged, you become really alive. Or when you challenge yourself, not necessarily life challenges you, you challenge yourself, you create a new project, you, you decide on accomplishing something, whatever that is. Let's say everything's set up, you've done a lot of life's work, you know, you have your kids, grandchildren, you know, fin finances are fine, your health is okay, then you create something for yourself. You give yourself a deadline to do something. You, you get yourself moving. You create something, whatever that is. And that makes you feel alive. You know, you come back to life. It becomes exciting, whatever that is. Whether you're going to go travel to other countries. Now that's your challenge or whatever. Whatever that is. Your life doesn't have to be dull and boring. There's many, many different facets of life that you can tap into by simply being present in this moment and be open to life and so much will be presented to us. But we all, but the very key to it is always coming back to here, to this moment. And as you come back here, you hang out here, the mind gets quiet. And as the mind gets quiet, the heart opens. And the, the, benefit of that is 
every time that you do that, you train yourself and you learn the pathway of coming to this place, coming back here, disconnecting from the world of thoughts, is that the rewards of it is the juice. The rewards of it is the blissful presence of love that you begin to feel. How's that for motivation? That the presence takes over you because you you stop whatever you're doing and you just come back here and you're hanging out here. And as you come back here in this moment, all of a sudden the presence, her holy self begins to shine around you. And you feel it. You feel the love, the presence of Her Majesty. The Supreme Soul embraces you because it's coming from within yourself. So you open the windows, actually, to yourself. And now you feel the presence of the being, the love here. Of love, of self-love, God. The divine love. You can feel like it's just dancing. It's around, you know. It's just kind of like playing around you, you know. And it's a matter of putting it. But you can feel the presence. And it fills up the whole room. And you're just quiet. And you feel it. You may want to cry. Because it's so strong. And then it just showers you with, with all this love and blessings. And you remember again that you're in good hands. You remember again that all is well. You remember again your connection. You come back to your connection. You come back here. Because here is where the juice is. Here is where the love is. Here is where the creativity takes place. All motivations, all your ideas, all your next steps in life, it's all coming from here, from this moment. Well, you have to come back here, come back home, and not go get lost in the world of thoughts and future, and get lost into the world of panic and worry and anxiety. And recognizing that you have an addiction to it, and the society has an addiction to it. And come back again to, and the, the more you do this, because it takes a little bit of time to unclutch from an old lifetime conditioning of fear and anxiety and control and worry about what's going to happen to me, is by coming back here, you realize that me, the me you're worried about, first of all, it doesn't exist. It's just a thought. It's simply a thought because there is no me. There is no you separated from life. It is life operating through all of us. And also you realize that you're perfectly taken care of. But that's not just words. Words don't do it. Because you, we all have heard the words. It's not the words. You have to feel the love when you come back to this moment. You come back to yourself. 
or you're with your teacher or you're in a group of meditation or you're in a workshop or you're in with a group of people who are on the same path and you're all having one intention. So you come back like here, we come to the unified field. We connect, we plug into the unified field of oneness. You know, you, you plug into it. And by plugging into it, you come back again. Come back here and come back to the juice. And then you realize, huh, okay. Yes, I feel it. I feel the love. I feel the presence. I can feel the presence hovering around me. It's touching me. It's dancing around me. It's kissing me. And I'm good. I'm okay. The love is here. And the love that we experience is not, doesn't belong to anyone. It's always present and it's here. And it cannot be taken, taken away from you. It's your own love. It doesn't come from someone outside of yourself. So if that person is gone, you won't lose it. It's coming from within yourself all the time. But you have to stop. You got to stop the madness, pause like what we're doing today. And we come back together. We've taken like an hour, an hour and a half time from our busy day and we stopped and we come back here and the mind becomes quiet you come in this very moment and then the presence shows itself and love comes back and you feel it again you you come in touch with it again but it requires a pause from the madness requires a pause from the world of thoughts the maya the world So in a way, you can consider yourself as some pioneers, this generation of spirituality. It's sort of a pioneers entering into this level of consciousness of being present in this moment. Eventually, in the future, maybe 50 years, 30 years, I don't know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, it would be more masses of humanity that are present, they will be in this moment. But for now, there's a small percentage that's popping out and coming to this understanding. And in this coming to this understanding is disconnecting from the news, disconnecting from the world. Not being ignorant to it, but not buying it as a reality. 
not buying that story of the mind worry 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 what's going to happen not buying it coming back here like what we're doing right now trusting this moment trusting life trusting this moment that this moment life will take care of us and not go into the world of the mind of worry anxiety which again is coming from our past and being projected to the future and has nothing to do with this moment all it does is makes you get old grow old and better and takes you out of the nectar of life takes you out of the juice of this moment because this moment is where the kingdom of heaven is in this moment it's not a place kingdom of heaven is not like a place you're gonna die and go to it's here right now they're all here these all these dimensions that they've been expressed by different masters or enlightened beings whether it's jesus or buddha or krishna or whomever all of these places that they talk about their levels of consciousness they're not a geographical place and they're not designed for after death because if it's going to be after death that has no value to you and i because i don't really give a shit about after death i'm just concerned with right now i'm not going to postpone right now for after death if there is anything of value i want it right now if it's real it must be right now if it's not right now then it's it's illusion it's a story it's a fairy tale and i want to wait till i die i want it right now in this moment otherwise it's not real because even then when i die is right now because there is no future moments it's always right now whatever moment comes again it's right now so there is nothing outside of right now so you learn to stay here and you decide to unclutch and break this chain of a lifetime or lifetimes of humanity of hundreds thousands of years of even previous generations that's been passed on to us of this time thing and this mind thing that there is something outside of right now we are going to break that we're breaking it because we don't want to be slaves we want to free ourselves and to live in this moment and to be one with god right now to be in the fullest level of our highest potential of complete freedom and love experiencing the love of self the love of being right now in this moment not another time and there are people who've done it and we call them free or enlightened beings and if they've done it then great you're not the first person who has to figure it out it's already figured out so all you have to do is follow the path to freedom 
Because you need you don't need to invent it. Hi, hi Marie. Hi, I was just thinking it sounds like kind of stepping into the light in this lifetime. Do you understand how I mean? When you explain that freedom, it's like of course I don't know how it is to to pass to the other side like dying, but it sounds like the light in this lifetime when you explain this. Okay. Or maybe I I don't know but Hold on a second, just one more moment. Okay, say it one more time because my speaker, my my uh, computer, the speaker is not good, so I don't really hear it very well. Um, it sounds like when you, it uh, feels like stepping into the light in this lifetime, like you when you when you're dying, you go to the light. Mm -hmm. Right. It, but it right. feels like is already now in this life to step into the light right explain it that is possible to do it in life yes that there are other beings there are other beings who have done it so we have done it together You, you have been there. We've been together in that place. We've already experienced it. So it's possible. Yeah, I understand that. Right. So if you've done it in this life and you know it's there, then it's possible. then it's not a theory, it's a direct experience that you have gone into it and you want it more or you want it permanently. And to have it permanently is the very key to it is by really coming here in this moment, diving into this moment, being present, It's all tied, tied up. By being present in this moment, you have disengaged yourself from the world of thoughts. You're aware of the thoughts, but you're not involved with them. It means you have come to this world of silence. It's quiet. And then it shows itself. And the more you train yourself and you get familiar with your new state of being, the more you have long patches in your day, daily life that you feel the presence around you. And it's not very difficult, especially for us who already done that before. And we have the right training and guidance. If you haven't done it, or you don't have the guidance of how to come to it, then it's very confusing because you're just trying a million different things to get to it. But if you found something that works, then you stick to it. And then you make it your your daily routine practice. And you recondition yourself. And the more you do that, the more juice you get. Because as I said, the key is that you feel the presence. That's the key. You can feel the presence the presence, you can feel the love, you can feel the divine being, the supreme soul, you know? And you know, Marie, at, at times, like at the workshops we've been together, 
or meditations you know when you go to this place and you can feel this like an explosion of love yeah you've you you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah yes. okay yes, yeah so you know so you know it's here it's available it's available exactly it's available so now you know it's available so it's not a theory someone's not trying to sell it to you you already experienced it so you got a glimpse of it good glimpse of it more than many people and now you're getting the know-how of how you can stay in it more and more and make it a part of your daily life you're getting the tools so then you don't want to doubt things anymore am i on the right path or not am i doing the right practice or not you just that's another thought you let that go and you just do it you just do what you've already learned that you know it works because you've already gone there a bunch of times so you just continue doing what works and what works is that disengaging from the world of distraction the thoughts distractions they're distracting your nervous system and they're dragging you into all these places so you just ignore it and you come back here every single time you get quiet you come back here you come back to the center and then it shows it shows itself again to you again you forget or you get involved in the world you come back again and you do it again and you do it again and it gets easier and easier because it pulls you more inside your itself because ultimately it's a love that is directing you to love so it will make things easy for you and it will invite you and clear the path for you you don't have to worry about it you don't need to figure it out it's an invitation we've been invited to come to love so love will carry you Yeah, trust the process. Trust the force. It's taking us home. And I understand, I mean, you see the world and you see all the things that are happening in the world. And then, you know, the mind comes and says, what about the world and other people and all these screwed up things and oh my god da, 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 da. it's again the mind comes and and you know it's the media is blowing it up and the mind goes into this again you just come back again come back ignore it and come back don't get caught into it it's a trap 
And then when you get established in this place, then your presence will help thousands of people. Once you get established in the truth of now, here, once you get established in the center of the love, the heart, then your presence will affect a lot of people. So don't worry about that you're being ignorant. Don't worry about the fact that, oh, I'm being selfish, all I care about myself. No, you're freeing yourself from the trap. You're not being ignorant or selfish. You're freeing yourself from the trap by finding your way back home. Otherwise, you're going to stay there in the loop as you have been for thousands of years. You're trying to break out of it. And you're ripe. You're ready for it now. Otherwise, you wouldn't come to this. You wouldn't hear it. You wouldn't see it. Your heart wouldn't say yes. You wouldn't be coming back again for more. Doubts show up, but something inside you, there's the pulse of your heart says, yes, keep going. This is it. This is it. So stay on the course. Stay on your track. Somebody asked me if I do entity removals. Um, yes, I do. I do. I don't know who. Carleen Joseph. Yes, I do entity removals. All right. Well, for, I appreciate seeing you all. Beauties. Nice seeing you. How are we doing with time, Ms. Shishi? Yeah? Are we, we said, huh? Okay. Well, yeah, okay. Well, our next academy is going to be next Tuesday. Um, and uh, for those of you who are watching from uh, Los Angeles, I just want to share with you that I do offer a talk series called the uh, uh, 5D Quantum Awareness Talk Series. I do offer them every Wednesday here in Los Angeles at a place called Gateway, the portal. And it's on Venice Boulevard. And the address is on my website, uh, zaratustra.tv. It's a free event, open to everyone. It's from 7.30 to 9.30 in the evening. And on Thursday evening, I go to Long Beach and I offer uh the same thing in long beach and you will at, at a place called the healing key you're welcome to join me at either places and this coming uh weekend i'm offering my 5d quantum healing training program uh level one here in los angeles and we still have some early bird uh tickets available uh, My European tour is beginning on the 22nd. I fly to Norway. I'll be there on 23rd. And the, my European tour starts uh, Norway, Sweden, Poland, Germany, and France. Um, and then we're having our signature uh, retreat, which is in Ore, Sweden. And I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, seeing all of my uh, old friends and and hopefully new friends and it's going to be 11 day retreat um, in this beautiful high vibrational mountains in northern Sweden and uh, this is truly my signature retreat and last year we had a phenomenal year it was an incredible time extremely transformational 
the idea of it and the reason I extended it to 11 days is A, to cover all five levels of 5D quantum healing and awareness. Uh, B is to create a container that we can stay in this unified field for long enough of time so as we're raising our vibrations to a higher frequency, we change things in cellular memory and we're able to sustain our new level of consciousness. So we don't fall back to the old me by being to create this container. So we have time, give ourselves an opportunity for change to, to happen in cellular memory and that's the very idea that i've extended i wish i could have it for two weeks or three weeks but uh 11 days works and many of uh our participants who were with us last year went through a major life change and that's for me is the very idea of creating a platform for true change to take place. So I would love to see you all there. And the space is limited. We only have space for 30 people. So it's very exquisite time. Um, you're welcome to check my website, zaratustra.tv. Um, and um, look at the list of the workshops I'm offering. I'm offering a series of different events in all the countries. There's free events, there's one day workshops, uh, and there's uh, heating training programs. So there is something for everyone. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. It's a blessing and honor to be with you. And I look forward to seeing you again. Namaste.